What a big week in the city. Over the next three days, robots are going to rule downtown Detroit. Not kidding. As many as 35,000 people are descending on the city for the first robotics world championships. Steve Garagiola is live at Kobo, at least I think it's Steve Garagiola. If this was a website, I might ask you to click the I'm not a robot box. Well, I no longer hear you, Devin, but I'm guessing that it's my turn to go. We're on the main floor here at Kobo. These bleachers starting tomorrow will be filled with some of those 35,000 people. No competition today. This is where the battleground will be starting tomorrow. I want to take you back in the pits where the real work happened this afternoon. There's more sportsmanship in this than some other sports. All right, you're on the last bit. Okay. Got to switch it on top. It's got to hold a quarter 20, okay? When I say this event is big, I mean big. Over 500 teams, 40 countries represented, including this team from Lyon, France. More than 30 states have teams here, including locals who have earned a spot in this international competition. No, I need a um, 9 o'clock nut. It's right there, right behind you. They build these robots from scratch, and they build them fast. They set out the challenge the first Saturday in January, and that's when, you, that's when the six weeks of build season starts. What is it that draws 15,000 young people to compete in this robotics competition? You're constantly trying new things, doing the new stuff, thinking outside of the box and then inside of the box and upside down, like just like throw the box out a window. It Today there is no competition. So what are we doing? Before we go to the practice field or to a match, we just run all the, like the elevator and the claw, the drive is make sure everything's working, nothing's exploding. About the only thing I recognize here is this controller. Of course, they have reprogrammed it to use for something more than Madden football. I uh, work specifically on the autonomous programs and uh, so as well as like the, the arm code itself. I have no idea what they're doing, but they sure are having fun doing it. It's more than just robots. <laughs> yeah, it's way more than just robots. It is amazing. If you are among those and you catch yourself expounding on everything wrong with the world's young people, you should come to this event tomorrow through Saturday. It is incredible. Reporting live at Cobo Center, I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4.